All right, guys, so you already know GSP don't play no games, right? Uh, I got no Hellcats, no Scat Packs, no Chargers, no Challengers in this video whatsoever. No Mopars, right? Audi takes off on the GSP officer, right? Didn't want to deal with the ticket, took off on him. GSP pit maneuvered this guy three times, tore his back bumper off, broke the glass on the car, did this Audi dirty. And then the final time they were in a neighborhood. That's right, a neighborhood with homes, families, the whole nine. Your boy gets up to about 90. GSP pit maneuvers him in the neighborhood over 90 miles an hour. Turns your boy into the opposite lane. And then your boy takes off running and you already know what happened after that. GSP don't care. They have no laws. They do whatever it takes to take you down, which is why you shouldn't be running in the beginning. Let's get into it. What's up, guys? It's your boy Knockout360 here with another video, man. So you can tell I'm in a house that makes us a house vlog. You know how it's going down and come around. Let's get into it. Car content, car shows, car reviews, car meets. Anything and everything car related happens on this channel. So if you're into that, make sure that you stick around. For everyone else, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you know what's coming out and when it's coming out, right? So I'm going on about day eight without my Hellcat. Just trust me when I say when it comes back on the channel, it's all going to be worth it. We're talking stupid power. Stupid power. More than a Demon 170, I'll put it to you like that. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. <laughs> you already know who that is, State Boys. Yeah. You hear that pedal steel guitar, you already know. GSP. Yeah. All right, so it looks like they're just driving, doing their thing on the highway. See a disturbance in the atmosphere, lights them up. Lights them up. Let's go. A3. Audi A3. I don't know what kind of power those cars are putting down. With a temporary tag. Goodbye. That was probably the weakest takeoff I've ever seen, but he took off. Now we got ourselves a chase. You can hear that 5 7 hit me. I already know this chase isn't going to go good because he's not on the highway. Back roads, A3s are not fast at all. Trust me, I've seen them. That was a big ass bump. The only thing this A3 has on this charger is it's light and agile. That's it. But see, you can see that 5.7 catching up to him. If he didn't have to stop at the light at the stop signs. Got him. Still going. This whole chase is in the in a residential neighborhood, so you know it's going nowhere. He's really trying to pit maneuver him in a in a neighborhood. That's the crazy part about it. Because most agencies won't pit maneuver you until it's somewhere safe. Another big ass bump. <laughs> That's exactly why those speed bumps are there. Take a 
I can already tell he's not going anywhere in this chase. He's not going to make it far. sign that they go through, they've got to uh, verbally relay it that is clear. A clear intersection. Unless it's a green light. Sixty miles an hour at this point, point. and this is in Savannah. You can see the uh, the trees. What do they call them? Hanging willows. Who are you pushing at five seven? Clear, clear. Clear. I knew it. Alright. 
Going in for the pit. He hit him, but he missed him. Now, mind you, now, mind you, we're on the back road in a residential neighborhood, one lane going, one lane coming, and they're hitting about 80 miles an hour right here, maybe 90. And look what GSP does. Look at your boy. Pit maneuvers his ass, bro. Let's go back. Pit maneuvers his ass. Look at that. You can see your boy right there. And there's a car coming in the opposite direction. And it doesn't matter. That's GSP for you. Every other law enforcement agency that I've ever seen, you've got to be, you know, a safe environment. It's got to be safe to pit maneuver. Not GSP. They don't give a damn. And that car ends up crashing into the pedestrian on the other side. So this is the back camera. Look at the car up here. Look at him right there. And then your boy takes off running. Goodbye. He didn't even stop to see if the pedestrian was straight. He's like, yep, okay, whatever. The driver was located laying in the woods short time later by Savannah PD officer. Savannah, Georgia, man. Mm. I was See, it would have got him a... Uh, you already said? Would have been a simple warning and that would have been it. I would have let you go. So it was deeper than that. It wasn't just a chase. So apparently your boy had, uh, let's see here. Um, even beyond the speeding. Hold on. Let me uh, record this for you. So if you go into the description of the video, it was more than that. Uh, let's see here. Where was it? Your boy had drugs on him. He was high. He was drunk. Doing all that shit, man. Aggression. Blah, 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 blah. Boom. Here we go. Uh, I read Miranda warning at 20. Uh, blah, 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 blah. He wanted to talk to me. I asked him why he ran to which he stated he got nervous and made a mistake. Behind the driver's seat in the Audi, a book bag was found. Inside the book bag was several baggies of marijuana weighing approximately 58.8 grams, four oxycodone pills, a scale, several personal items, including a debit card, blah, 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 blah. Front pocket, he had uh, $2,022 in miscellaneous currency was found. Uh, said that he had smoked an hour prior and said that he had been drinking. An hour prior, I observed his pupils to be the equal size and his eyes to track equally. No clues of horizontal gaze, nostril. Blah, blah, blah. So your boy was high. Your boy was drunk. He had drugs in the car. He had a scale. So nine times out of 10, that's intent to sell. So your boy was moving a little bit of weight. I don't know how much 58.8 grams is. That doesn't sound like a whole lot. I don't think that's El Chapo type numbers, but apparently your boy was going to be moving some weight. So this was actually a good uh, stop right here. This was a good stop on behalf of uh, GSP and the Savannah police. They got your boy off the street. He had planned to obviously distribute some of that, that them drugs. You know what I'm saying? That booger sugar. Nah, that's cocaine. But, you know, he was planning on distributing some drugs and the cops got him off the street, man. So I got no problems with this whatsoever. Shout out to GSP for staying with them, for uh, hanging with them. But... I mean, you see what I'm saying, though. Most departments, like in North Carolina, to my understanding, when it comes to highway patrol, uh, city cops can't do pit maneuvers, I don't think at all. I could be mistaken. But uh, they probably can. They probably have to be authorized before they do it, though. But in North Carolina highway patrol, I believe anything over 40 or 50 miles an hour, we can't do a pit maneuver, right? Like, they can't execute a pit maneuver over 40 miles an hour or 50. At the maximum, 60. Maybe 60 miles an hour is as fast as you can go in the state of North Carolina where you can be, uh, you know, they can uh, introduce a pit maneuver into the police chase. You know what I'm saying? Because at that point, once they do that, your car is going to spiral out of control. There's a chance that you can go into oncoming traffic and hit another pedestrian or just hit another pedestrian, period. You know what I'm saying? Or run into a business, whatever the case may be. Once your car is in that free spinning mode, at that point, I mean, it's between gravity and, you know, your tires and the weight of your car and wherever you're going, the momentum. But apparently in GSP or with GSP, they don't have that restriction. They don't have that limitation with their department. 
apparently they can pitch you as they see fit. Like most apartments, they have to actually get clearance. Like they have to get, uh, you know, approval from a higher up that they can pit maneuver this car when it's safe, so on and so forth. And then, like I said, in North Carolina, I think anything over 60 miles an hour, maybe 40 or 50, they can't pit maneuver you, period. You know what I'm saying? But in this case, uh, it doesn't matter where they're at. It doesn't matter the location. It doesn't matter pedestrians. You literally saw a pedestrian in the oncoming direction in the other in the other lane. And he still pit maneuvered his ass in a residential neighborhood on a one way. That Audi could have seriously lost control like crazy and then went into somebody's front yard. You know what I'm saying? Front yard into their kitchen, dining room, bedroom, the whole nine. He didn't give a damn. He wanted to take his ass down and he did just that. My hat goes off to him because everything worked out. It was such a clean pit maneuver to where all it did was turn his ass 180. You know what I'm saying? It was a perfect pit maneuver. Um... It was a perfect pit maneuver, perfectly executed. Nobody got injured, and your boy was intending to distribute some drugs. So you know what I'm saying? Got him off the street. So this one's a win for GSP, man. Shout out, well, shout out to out, shout out to the GSP boys. But uh, you know, if you drive an Audi, this probably isn't you know a video that you like much. But at the end of the day, they did exactly what they were supposed to do. So I'm not hating, man. Shout out to GSP. Shout out to State Boys. If you want to go and watch the full uncensored video, it's been your boy Knockout 360. See you guys in the next one. Peace.